We've all been to university. I haven't. But you lot have been to university. And it's a pain in the ass. Expensive to eat. So all the dishes that I'm going to do in this little mini series are going to be under a tenner and they can be frozen down into little containers, just reheated, uh, really quick releasing, kind of healthy as well. So I'm going to make you a quick cheap paella, the recipe's on crumble.com. So first things first, I need to get these chicken thighs. I'm using chicken thighs because they're really cheap. I'm just going to season these with a little bit of salt and then some pepper, a little shush of oil and show off. So you want to brown off your chicken thighs, skin side down. Get some nice colour on them, and then just season the top as well. So while they're browning, I'm just going to chop my red onions and my garlic. And then get some peat tongs, which you'll probably have in your uh, student accommodation. Skin's nicely brown. So I move the chicken to the side, to one side of the pan, to the cooler side of the pan, and then I'm going to get my garlic and my onion and get that in. Brown that off a little bit. Keep your chicken skin side down as well. So I've got some chorizo here. It's just some cooking chorizo that I got from the supermarket. Just be careful with this because there might be a bit of skin on it and if there is, if you don't take it off, what happens is it sort of tightens up and it's no good. So just score down the back, so quick down the middle, don't cut yourself and then just nice and chunky like so. Pop that in, give it a little tickle in the pan. So we've got a beautiful yellow courgette here and I like a yellow courgette and it's kind of Mediterranean as well isn't it? So that goes in, gives a little bit more colour. That'll cook up nice. And then I'm going to add my smoked paprika. Just like a tablespoon. And then just stir that in. And just let that cook for like three or four minutes. Just want to sort of release the oils from that chorizo. Right, so the oil starts to come out of the chorizo. It's starting to smell delicious. So I'm going to add some chicken stock. You can make it, but you're a student, so you're probably not going to. And I'll bring that to the boil. And we'll pop some olives in there. Uh, and we've got some pe pe kilo peppers as well, just in a jar. We'll put that in in a minute, because if you put it in now, it's going to overcook in your chicken stock and it's going to become really, really sloppy and you still want a little bit of texture there. So I'm going to drop that down to a little simmer and then just pop a lid on it for eight, ten minutes. Just let it steam the top of that chicken. Keep checking it and turning it every now and again. You want the chicken juices to run clear, then you know that it's cooked. Uh, it's been there about eight minutes, so just flip them over. Get your money's worth. Way, student lads. Way. And then you just want to reduce that liquor a little bit more. I've just got some uh, boil in the bag. Pop that in. And that'll help, that'll absorb that, some of that stock up as well. And at that point, you probably want to turn down the heat a little bit. And then here's our paquillo peppers. They go in. Low heat, lid back on, another eight, 10 minutes. And then we should be able to go. So that's another 10 minutes, looking delicious. So some flat leaf parsley. Run a knife through it. And there is your half an hour one pot cheat paella. Cheap as old, less than a tenner. Well, yeah, enjoy it, it's really tasty. Fucking hot.